One method that's taught at school when children are learning to use formal methods for written subtraction is using partitioning. Here's an example of how partitioning works. Here we have 43 take away 25. And one way this could be written, 43, and then partition that 25 into the separate tens and ones. So take away 20 first, then take away 5. This can be written in a column, 43, take away 20, which is 23, then take away 5, which is 18. You could do it in this order, where starting with the 43, you take away the 5 first. So 43 take away 5 is 38, then take away the 20, which still gets you to 18. It depends on how your brain works and which way round you prefer to do things. 74 take away 35. This is one for you to try using partitioning. Pause the video, have a go. 74, partition 35, so take away 30 and take away 5. Putting that in the column, 74, we're going to do this both ways round, starting with taking away the 30, which gives us 44, then taking away the 5, which gives us 39. If we do this the other way round, and take away the 5 first, 74 take away 5 is 69, and 69 take away 30 is 39. 155 take away 64, so we have a three-digit number that we're taking away from. We're still going to partition the 64 as we did earlier, so pause the video and see how you get on with this. So 64 is take away 60, take away 4. Putting that in the column, we're going to start taking the 4 away this time, just to show you that it doesn't matter which way round we do this. 155 take away 4 is 151. Now take away the 60. For some people, it's easier to break that 60 down into more easily manageable chunks. So if we take 50 away first, 151 take away 50 is a nice easy one to think about, that's 101, and then we'll take away the other 10 from that 60, which gives us 91. Doing that the other way round, 155, take away the 60 first, again if you want to break that down to make it easier, 155 take away 50 is 105, take away 10, that's 95. And then we just take away the 4. And that's 91. This time we have two three-digit numbers. If you want to pause the video and try this, go ahead. 405, partitioning 264, we're taking away 200, 60, and 4. I'm going to start by taking away the 4. 405, take away 4, that's 401. Take away 60, and if you know 400 take away 60, you can easily add one on. So 400 take away 60 is 340, so 401 take away 60, 341. Now we just need to take away the 200, and that's 141. And doing this the other way round, 405, take away 200, that leaves 205. Take away 60, if you know that 200 take away 60 is 140, then 205 take away 60 will be 145. Finally take away the 4, and that's 141. 927 take away 842. Pause the video, have a go. 927, 
going to partition the 842, take away 800, take away 40, take away 2. Starting with taking away the 2, 927 take away 2 is 925. Now we're going to take away the 40. You might want to split this into two lots of 20 just to make it easier. 925, take 20 of that 40, leaves 905. You now have another 20 to take away. For those who find this kind of thinking difficult, you can even break that 20 down into a 5 and a 15 if you prefer. You'll get to 885. Take away the 800 and that leaves 85. You could do that the other way round. 927 take 800 is 127. Take away that 40. Again, you can break that into two lots of 20. 127 take 20 is 107. Take another 20 and that's 87. And then take away the two, that's 85.